All right, so today we're going to be turning a Fun World ghost face costume into a screen accurate ghost face killer robe right here as seen here. Now, as you may know, there is plenty of significant differences with the store bought outfit and the one used on screen here. You can right away see the differences on the drapes hanging in the sleeves. And the store-bought one is a bit of a more slimmer fit, while the one on screen was a more larger and flowy fit. Now there's usually some individual artists who make a screen-accurate robe for maybe as low as $300. But obviously my budget isn't really looking for that sort of thing, so I thought I'd take one of those store-bought ghost face robes and... I thought I'd do a bit of surgery on it. So, today I'm going to be teaching you on how to take your store-bought robe by Fun World and turning it into a screen-accurate movie replica. Alright, let's get started then. For this project, you will need very sharp scissors, lycra fabric, and a ghost face costume. Be sure to get one in plus size. You'll get plenty of room when you buy the plus size. The store-bought costume runs a little slim while the screen-used outfit was big and flowy. I'll be sure to link everything I used on Amazon. Alright, let's start on the easy part, the hem of the robe. As you can see in the costume, the hem of the robe had been cut into triangles. That's not necessarily screen accurate, you see. In the first movie, the hem of the robe has been cut into smaller, itty bitty triangles. And then in the rest of the other movies, the hem of the robe has been cut into rectangles. I personally am going to cut my hem of the robe into rectangles. It was good that I ordered a plus size because the triangles actually drape over my feet. So, I cut them right off and I will go back and cut it up into rectangles. As you can see here, I didn't really make that much of a clean cut across. But hey, it's the hem of the robe, so there's room for mistakes there. Here's a look at the hem of the robe before. And here it is now. Big difference, right? Next, we will be doing some modification on the drapes. In the film, the drapes were three ribbons with a 12 inch split in between them and rounded at the ends. So, we'll say goodbye to our old drapes and we will be making a split right down the seam, right there. Be sure to take your time with this cut and use the pre-existing seam as a guideline to cut. It's also helpful if your scissors are extra sharp because we want this as clean as possible. So, unfortunately, I did not film the process of me making the new drapes, so I'm gonna walk you through it. So I cut a rectangle from my arm down to my knee, and I cut into thirds. For each ribbon, I make it four inches shorter than the previous one and gave it a split and rounded it off the ends, if that made sense. And now we go back to the sleeve that we cut open, we then put it back together with our new drapes. Voila, here you go, our new drapes. Another thing you'll notice, there's a hole in the back of your costume right here. Just sew that close. It does not have any purpose whatsoever. Last but not least, you'll need to sew on gloves to the end of the sleeves. That's pretty much it for the robe. 
If you want to add in that sparkly detail like they did in the movie, there's this video tutorial showing you how to do it. I'll link you in the description below. Now, let's trade off our crappy mask with a really good quality Dulux mask. And there you go. Put together the whole thing and you've got yourself a close to screen accurate Ghostface Killer costume. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. I'll be sure to link everything I used in the video in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it out with your friends and family. So long.